All right, let's learn some basics of HTML. Before I begin, I want to make one important point, which is that it's good to learn HTML even if you use systems that automatically write the HTML like Dreamweaver or applications, content management applications like WordPress. It gives you a lot more power in being able to modify and tweak things if you understand the nature of HTML. It's kind of the difference between a serious web developer and somebody who's just playing around. All right, so now that we know we, it's important to learn HTML based on what Richard says, let's make a, a new file in Dreamweaver and we'll make it blank, HTML, layout, none. We'll leave the doc type at XHTML transitional, which we'll talk about a little more later. And we'll say OK. Now I'm in the code view now. Uh, and as you've learned, there's a design view, which shows what it's going to look like on the page approximately split view which actually shows what's on the page on the right and the uh, code on the left and the, just the code view which is the one I use a lot. Alright so now um, the first thing to notice is there's uh, the design view is totally blank but there's a bunch of code in there which kind of looks peculiar and we'll uh, look at why that is as we, as we go along. But the first thing I want to point out is the basic parts of an HTML page um, and Dreamweaver has already created those. The first thing is a doc type which you don't need to worry about for now and it, among other things it just tells the browser, gives the browser information about what kind of code you're writing, XHTML1 transitional. Then we have the HTML tag, I'm sorry HTML element and this is the uh, beginning of the HTML element this is the beginning tag and it actually has an indie tag at the very end and everything in the page besides this doc type is nested inside that HTML tag here's the beginning here's the end um, and we'll talk about what these other parts of the tag uh, in a minute alright and then another basic part is the head uh, element. Here's the beginning, here's the end. This There's a meta tag that goes in the head which Dreamweaver writes for you automatically. I'd encourage you just to leave it the way it is. Then there's another very important tag that Dreamweaver puts in automatically. I'm sorry, another element that Dreamweaver puts in automatically in within the head element and that is the title. And it's very important to title your page because it helps search engines, it helps when you uh, chose at the top of your page if you create bookmarks, etc. A lot of different things will use that title tag to give information to your page. So you can change it down in the actual code or there's a little thing in Dreamweaver where you can change the title and say it's like Richard's page. And so notice in the title tag it changed it. Oh, it also took away all my indents, which is sad. All right, so anyway, I'm kind of trying to show you how these are nested. The head is this first important part, and then the body is the second important part, and here's the beginning of the body element, and there's the end. You notice there's nothing in there, and that's why there shows nothing in the design view, because the body is the um, element in which all the stuff that's going to be displayed directly on the web uh, shows up. So if I say blah in here, just write the words blah and we look at the split view. We look at the design view, you see blah. <laughs> For some reason it did not show up in the... Okay, there it is in the split view. Alright, so um, that's the basic parts of the HTML page. The, um, the doc type, the HTML tag, the head tag, the body tag and this really important one inside I keep calling them tags I'm, I mean elements so let's talk a little bit about these um, HTML elements that I have so much trouble um, remembering the name and um, so as I explained before each one of these elements has a beginning tag and an ending tag and uh, the ending tag starts with a slash. Now there's a few exceptions, one of those being this meta element. And whenever there's an element that doesn't have an ending tag, it, you have to put this little slash at the 
at the end of the beginning tag, which means that's the end of this element. And that's something new that was introduced with XHTML so that it was clear about beginning and ending of an element. But most of them will have this beginning tag, this ending tag. Now another characteristic of uh, these HTML elements, which is also something that developed when when uh, with XHTML, it's a characteristic of XHTML as compared to traditional HTML, which we'll talk more about in just a minute. But this one important thing is that the tags have to be properly nested. So you have to have one tag, the tag has to be inside of another tag. So it has to be clear how the hierarchy works. So for example, if I put slash title here. Well, it won't let me because, I mean, Dreamweaver doesn't want me to do that because it knows I'm screwing up. But if I put, so for example, see the head uh, element starts here and the head element ends here. The title element starts here and begins here. It's not nested. Neither of them is nested completely within the other one. And that's uh, like illegal. You'll get struck down by the gods of HTML if you do that. Well, the gods of HTML don't really care. The gods of XHTML, they care a lot. So that's another characteristic of uh, these elements is they have to be properly nested and we definitely want to use uh, proper XHTML as much as possible because it makes the page much more powerful in working with other programs. Uh, now another uh, thing about these elements is they often have something that's called an attribute and here is an attribute with the meta tag. It's The attribute is called HTTP equiv and uh, it has, that's the name, HTTP equiv, it has a content type is the actual value. Same thing, content has a name uh, and it has the this value and the value is actually this whole thing, text HTML um, and it, and with the semicolon character set and it has the values are inside these quote marks and let me show you another example let's say we go to design we make this here's a very very typical at, attribute is let's make this a link and so we put go down here to link and we say http mst.edu now let's look at the code blah suddenly uh, has become an HTML element, and that element is uh, a is the a element. So see, it begins with a, ends with slash a. But now it has this attribute, which is href blah blah, and href is the name, and the value of href is the HTTP MST.edu. So there is an example of an HTML element that has a attribute and the attribute has a name and it has a value and the value is within quotation marks. Um, all right now uh, a very special type of HTML tag is the um, division tags and the division tags are uh, just div. What I'm going to do is show you I'm going to make a, a absolute positioning div, div which we'll do more in the future so in another tutorial but just for now I go to layout remember by the way I have this a classic view if you're not seeing these things at the top go to classic view right here so um, I go to this little AP tag thing it says draw AP I'm sorry AP div and then I make this div and in it I can I can make it a certain color and stuff like that I could put stuff in it but now if I look at the code it shows this div ID well first of all the um, element is div here's the beginning of the div here's the ends of the div second of all it has this attribute with the name ID and then it, the ID is AP div 1 and then it I put in these letters in between beginning and ending tags but this AP div 1 ID refers to what that's saying is there's 
C a CSSID, that's a cascading style sheet thing, and it's called AP Div 1. So you have to look up in the style sheets, which we'll talk about more uh, in a later tutorial, and it defines AP Div 1 with all these different characteristics. And so that's a special kind of tag as a div tag with the uh, attributes. It, all it does is just, it's like a placekeeper that tells you about like one, um, part of the one part of the page one section of the page and uh, it's really popular nowadays and it's used a lot in more advanced kind of uh, HTML and XHTML all right well uh, there's just a couple more things I wanted to let you know uh, first of all about this HTML basic HTML uh, which you're, I've been talking about a XHTML and HTML I just want to describe note that that a XHTML is just HTML with a little more strict, well, some sense a lot stricter standards so it can work more readily with XML and other sort of um, applications and programs. And so it just means it's, it's stricter. So you have to have things properly nested. Notice everything's in lowercase. One characteristic of XHTML is everything's in lowercase all the code anyway is in lowercase for any of the elements and any of the attributes um, and they have to be properly nested as I as I mentioned and the structure has to have all these characteristics it has to have the head tag it has to have the HTML tag etc in the old days you could get away without having certain things alright well one last thing I want to mention is obviously HTML would require a lot more than just a 15 minute um, little lecture and it would take uh, take you a really long time to learn all the things about HTML especially if you're going to memorize all the different elements and all their attributes and all the names and values etc so I just want to give you a couple of resources one is that in Dreamweaver actually has um, its own resources so what I can do is I can go up to help and then say reference and lo and behold actually we'll have these O'Reilly uh, HTML references so I can look up a tag like uh, A which we've looked at it describes the entire tag and then it shows examples of the tag and stuff like that and um, you can even look at all these um, different attributes of that tag the most common one being href and then it'll talk about that and values etc so you can look up any tag and it'll show you all of its attributes and all its values now honestly I don't usually use that believe it or not very much um, I'm probably like almost everybody else I go uh, I Google now there's another uh, thing though before I you know that I mentioned the obvious Google thing which is a really good site called uh, w3 schools and I couldn't remember the name but I have it there already because I've been looking stuff up and W3 schools is just a um, great site for learning all kinds of stuff associated with HTML and CSS and PHP and, and etc it's pretty almost always the it's pretty much the most popular site and as evidenced by the fact that if you Google anything about HTML and related issues you're very likely to find one of the top references being the W3 schools so then of course the third thing um, as I mentioned you can use the references in Dreamweaver you can use W3 schools but uh, most of, I would just advise probably using Google all right well that's the basics of HTML and uh, so hopefully you got a framework to start with